There's Hamza taking his morning swim at Tsulikani Falls. It's just incredible to have such a beautiful big pool in the Drakensberg. And there's actually fish in it. You can apply for permits and come fishing here. And we could see the fish from the top. Due to pregnant reasons, I'm a bit scared to rock up. They've come from there. We've got some company as we traverse the knuckles. By the looks of things, they're not too happy to see us. Machaya Cave, not often visited because there aren't really paths to it, but it can accommodate 12 people, well more, but legally only 12, sleeping area. There, there, and through these boulders, there's another sleeping area. A secret private one which can take about five people. Each sleeping area can take about five comfortably. Flat, stunning water down there, stunning views. Oops, sorry, I'm in a bush, but you'll see. Now we pack all our goodies into our pot so we're not wasting space. And I'll show you what it looks like at the end. But we've got our washing gear in there, dishing out spoon, gas, this actual stove, and our cutlery and our plates. Amazing. Then we pop our cutlery in the little holders on top and then we pop it into the bag. Now we're just contouring the valley away from La Machaya Cave back to Bushman's Neck. Sometimes it's the pass, path but sometimes it disappears. Um, if you look in the official map there isn't a path. Um, but it's easier the way we're going because we've already found the cave. I think they say when you're coming up and you don't know where the cave is, then it's a bit of an exploration. But it joins onto the town cave route. Now we're in the easy path. Back to pace. We're going to go past Cedric Pools again. We didn't show you because we've been on the roof, but we're heading back. We saw in Cedric's pool. I'll show you a picture. And now we're heading back on the loop we came on. We're almost back, so let me tell you what I've learned about hiking pregnant. Um, I'm six months along. Um, look, we hiked about 40 k's in three days with about, I have to verify this, 800 meters elevation, which is kind of our normal, but it was a lot more tiring for me. Um, normally I'm always at the front. This time I was at the back. Wow. So that's something that's normal. I didn't carry a heavy pack. Um, the rest of the group carried most of my stuff. I carried like my rain oh. raincoat, cold gear, daily snacks. You drink so, so, so much more. You pee so, so much more. Um... Obviously, you can't carry a heavy pack it's going to hurt your tum-tum and your bubble. But yeah, get out there, enjoy it. Stay fit. Be careful. Try not to choose dangerous roots and your sticks. Finally, at the end, those little houses. That's the South African border. The end of our hike. For me personally, the river crossing is the most stressful part. But as long as you have sticks, go slow or ask for a hand. You'll do fine. Obviously, don't choose anything too hectic. And that, folks, is a wrap. For future reference, these are very clean, lovely bathrooms that you can change in. Here we are. Home sweet home. Well, bit of a drive. As you can see, it's not a very fancy office. There's a little wooden shed there. That's your office where you get your permit and you pay. And there is a little wooden toilet at the back there. There's no toilet paper.